My name is Kevin Merle, and I was the reporter for Group 3. Um, we did the commercial air conditioning unit with the simulated air conditioner in the lab. So basically what we did, um, or what, how the unit works, just to review, is the warm air enters, um, it goes over a cooling coil um, system, and then moves uh, through the fan into the room. Um, and normally you have a little bit amount of heat uh, from your fan, that uh, you add because it is an electric motor. Um, however, we did we kind of negated this in, uh, in what we did and just used the measured air temperatures at the separate points in the lab. Um, and, but that's just uh, some terminology as well. You have the air handling unit, the cooling coil, and the supplied air um, that actually goes to cool the room. And uh, these are a little out of order, so I'm going to come back to these two. Um, and then the the system that we actually used, uh, or part of the system is the VAB, which is the an air control valve. Um, so in the lab, you had the heated air, and then you had the single pane glass and the dual pane glass. Um, and we were trying to measure which one was more efficient and which required more cooling um, to keep the room at the same temperature. So to do this, we used the VAB to control the airflow to each room um, uh, individually so that we can use one main unit uh, that's more efficient that way. So the VAV just, uh, it's a valve controlled electronically. Um, opens and closes based on uh, the computer system that tells it if it needs more air or less air. Um, yeah, so as the room warms up, the valve opens, cool air flows in, pulls it off. Um, so this is the data from the lab we did. Uh, these uh, numbers are the averages over the whole experiment. So. For chamber A, the average temperature was 71.6 degrees, and our average CFM for that, uh, that chamber was 54.42 uh, cubic feet a minute. And then chamber B, the average temperature was 70.55 degrees, and the CFM was 19.35 um, cubic feet a minute. And the set temperature was 71 degrees for both rooms. So this, you can immediately see that chamber A took far less air um, to keep the same temperature uh, because it had the dual plane glass, uh, glass windows. And then our uh, control, uh, our measurements that we took also were the dry bulb temperature of the room, which was 68.8 degrees. Uh, the relative room humidity was 34.8 degrees. Uh, discharge air temperature, uh, this is the air straight out of the air conditioner, is 44.1 degrees um, with a relative humidity of 57.7. And then apparatus dew point is 44 degrees. So we went in to calculate the um, flow rate and heat removed from the space um, of the room. So you have this equation as heat removed is delta T times uh, your area over R thermal. Um, when you go in and you can uh, move it into the simplify it a little bit here, um, you, you get this equation as Q equals 1.08 times delta T times your CFM. Um, and then on the right, we use uh, that same equation. So your delta T is your ch chamber temperature uh, minus your air discharge from your air conditioner. Um, and then, so chamber A had a uh, 16, 18 BTUs per hour, and then chamber B was 552 uh, BTUs per hour. Um, and this makes sense. Uh, chamber B used less air, less BTUs per hour. Um, you reject and so this is the plotted data of the temperature of the room over time. Um, so initially it started off uh, fairly warm, and uh, then as we cool down. Um, chamber A is the room with single plane glass. So you can see where the valve um, cooled the room off, it heated up, cooled the room off, it heated up um, almost cyclically. And then with chamber B, it was a much longer distance between when it had to turn the air back on um, and how long it could stay between uh, when getting back to that set temperature. Um, and then this is the psychometric chart. Uh, so for this, you can kind of uh, estimate your apparatus viewpoint. Um, you graph your air leak, I mean air entering the system. Um, and then the plot of, I mean, the point of the air leaving the system with the dry bulb temperatures and your relative humidities. And then with the straight line, you can estimate your um, apparatus dew point uh, here on the chart. So 
for us, it came out to, or on the chart, it looks like about 25 degrees. Um, actually calculated was 44 degrees, as we saw earlier. So there's a slight variance there. Um, I couldn't quite figure out what it was, but uh, the chart, this chart makes sense, but I'm not sure where the discrepancy comes from. And then we go back and look at the, so the efficiency equations, um, this is just the percentage of air that is on air condition. Uh, this uses the leaving temperature they are entering and the apparatus dew point. Um, and for our system, it was very efficient um, with the percentage of air on air condition at 0 0.004. Um, and this can generally be attributed to it being well sealed and well insulated. Um, and also, you're operating the entire system in a climately controlled room. And then the EER. You can calculate just based on the uh, AC unit size that's given off of um, the unit we use. And then you can calculate your COP, which is your coefficient of performance as a 2.53. Right here, so does it make sense? And yes, it makes sense. Uh, the windows with less insulation need more heat. I mean, more airflow and more heat rejection. Um, and what uncertainties should be considered? Um, one thing with this lab is you have to manually take the readings. Uh, so it averages out correctly, or it should average out over time, but having an exact reading at each time, uh, time set point uh, is a little off uh, because you can't be exact when you have to hand write it down. Um, so that should be considered, but in the average uh, over the full period of time, it should uh, even out. And any questions? What does COP physically mean? Um, so COP is a parameter that was created to like benchmark uh, air conditioners against each other. Um, there's not really a value for it, or I mean, the units, but it's just a number where you can compare one air conditioner to another air conditioner. Um, so very cooling. Product. You got a COP of two point five. Yep. Is that a good air conditioner? Um, I believe so. Yes, I'm not really sure. I didn't. I didn't compare this on the shows. Maybe next another. You should know, like, what is the general COP that is out there. Thank you.